Okay, here's my attempt to show you how to do a chase scene in the FTSE 2 controller. I got online, I don't see anybody else uh, trying to do this for the chase scenes. Uh, evidently, they think it's too difficult, but it can be a pain. It took me a bit to figure it out. I can't explain how I come up with this, but it's, it's a routine, and it's the same thing all the way through. And what it is, you can have 12 chase scenes. I've actually got three that I've already uh, was able to set up. So now I put it up to four. So it's a, it's a new, it's a new uh, chant or a new empty chase that we're going to start out with. Um, you can put up to 24 individual scenes to make up a chase. So if you know how to make scenes on this, you just carry that over to this chase and what you're doing is you're just building up like snapshots and then when you hit the chase button uh, it puts those together and creates a scene a bunch of scenes so I don't know if that makes any sense or not but uh, so what we we'll do here is first thing we want to do is hit program hold that down until that light comes on I'll zero these out all right, and make sure it says add. And what we're going to do is, all we're going to do is work with these first three buttons. Nothing else. These don't mean nothing in my case. I'm trying to keep this simple. I've got two four-bar light bars that are slaved together. They're default settings, D1, if you're familiar with these lights. And also, I have this set for 15 channel instead of 3 channel. I want 15 channels so I can mix the colors within each light. Otherwise, if you were three channel, you'd either get blue, green, or red. And that's kind of boring. So if we go 15 channels, I'll be able to use all these controls to mix the colors. Or I could stay red, green, blue if I want. And then what I do is I can mix all three of those colors within one light to come up with a, a variety of different colors so this this is how I do it I'm sorry I can't explain why but this is what I come up with and uh, it works great for me in fact I'm going to use it tonight when I go out to my gig here at 9 30 tonight and uh, so yeah all right so okay I've got a program that done all right, all these are down to zero. I'm going to hit the first one. And what's going to happen is it's going to, we're going to set up the first light, the first of four. So whatever this one does, that's going to copy it. It's the same. Ooh, that guy's ugly. So, okay, what we'll do is the number one, uh, you turn up the number two knob. And, of course, Right now, you're not going to see nothing. So, you turn up number four. Now, all of a sudden, you got a light come on. And you can adjust the intensity, whatever you want. Okay? So, say that's red. But say you want that one to be green instead. So, what you do is... Uh, turn down this knob and you can turn up this knob. This stuff makes no, you can't associate these two. That says white, but if I turn that, I get green. Say green, green. And this, this is the same way each and every time you set a scene up you're going to get this same thing. We're going to follow this same path. So, okay, so I like that intensity. All right. So let's say, well, wait a minute. I don't like that green. So I turn that back down. There's nothing once again, right? So now I turn up the original one I had, and it's red. See? So, all right. Let's just leave that red. 
okay so I like it's okay so we're done with that light I'm happy with that one so I don't know personally I like to turn these all back down again now let's go for the second light number two and that's the second set of lights so that's the first light we did this is going to be the second light I'm going to turn this up and see that I got that one to go up see that and that's blue so now if I don't want that one to be blue Turn that up. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. If I want that to be... If I don't want that to be blue, I can actually add... See that? I can put in... Yeah, see that? I can turn this down. If I don't want this to be blue, I can turn it back down. Turn up this one. I see that'll be green. Turn that down. Or I can turn it red. See? Blue. Or I mean green. Or or red. Or if I like that red and I want to mix a little green in there. See that? I can actually mix. Well, I hope that's showing up on this camera, but it's a mix. That's where the 15 channel set setting comes when you set that on your four bar. That's what allows you to do that with the 15 channel. See that? So I, I don't know, I can add a little green or if I want, I can add some blue. See that? Add a little blue to that if I want. See that? These three knobs. You just got to play around with this, but this works the same every every time you you go to to um, program a light the same now oh, I kind of like that all right so now here's a little quirky thing uh, not only can you control that second one but in this instance you can control with this fourth knob you can now control that third light. See the third light going on? And you can do the same thing with that. You can have it up like that. And you can you can turn down. You can why well, don't we do that? See? That's red. Or you turn it down. And you can make it green. Or blue. Or you can leave the blue one up or whatever you want. Turn the, the green one up and you add a little green. You turn that one up. Look at that. It adds your different red color. Whatever you want. You can turn it down. Make one more intense than the other. See that? I mean, I'm just... I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this, but you just... Turn this knob, this knob, get whatever combination you want, whatever hits your fancy. If you like that, then you click off there and go to your third one. Now your third one, that third button, make sure though you turn these off and then before you turn that one on. Otherwise, if you leave these on, it's going to control everything and it's going to mess you up. So for right now, just make sure you only have that that blue for that one. So now we're going to adjust the last one. And that, see that, that's going to be number one. See that? See, that's red. See that? See that? Up and down. Have that red. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure. I forgot which. Oh, here we go. No. Or, if you don't like that red, you can turn up number two for green. 
See that? I can control that. Or I can put some blue in there. Whatever I want. So whatever you want. Whatever intense intensity colors you want, you know, just whatever. Okay, so you like that? Okay, unclick that and hit real quick, hit that, let it go, and that'll blank. So bang, you just saved the first scene. Save the first of up to 24. See, and it automatically advanced it for you. You don't have to advance anything. So now, turn these back down just because that's just the way I do it. You may find something different, but this right here will just get you going. So what we do is we turn right around and we do the exact same thing over again. We'll just pretend we're back on the first one. Hit one. One is number two. That'd be the red one right there. See that? So don't let that flip you out when all of them really, ultimately, you're just controlling that first light. Why the other ones are going, I don't know, but anyway. So once again, number two. Now. There's number two. See, we're starting all over again. That is controlling the first one. And that's number two. Now, see that? Number two. Again, don't let that fool you with all the lights flashing or going dim or not. You're just working with that number one. Turn that up. If you don't like that red... Oops. See? There we go. Look at that. You can put a little green in there if you want. Right there. Add a little blue. See that? And you can take that red right out. See that? It cranks that red right up. And then you can make that blue. See that? Just like that. Oops. See that? <laughs> so, anyway. There's that. And if you want, if you're that lazy, you don't have to go through the other three. If you kind of like those colors, just leave it alone. Hit save again, flashes, now it goes up to number two. So what you do is, turn these down, and you start all over again. Number one, controls, just that one light, even though the rest of them are coming on and off at the same time too, you're just working with that first one. So again, number one is the two button. Brighten that up. Number four allows you to add. See that? Add the different colors. See that? Number four. Or you can go green. The one right beside it. Or you could just turn that blue. That's blue, by the way. Gosh, I hope this camera's doing the colors better. But anyway, see that? You can change that around. So, all right. So you like that one? Hit that. Go to number two. Now we're going to take care of the number two light. Number two light. They're slaved. Number two. Number two is three. Like I said, this makes no sense, I know. But, see that right now? Number three. There we go. See number three? 
See that? You're controlling number three. You're controlling the second light with the number three. See that? Now, if you don't like blue, you can turn that down and just go with red. Maybe you like red. Maybe that'll work. If you like it a little dim, you like it bright, you don't like red, go to green. See, go to green. If you like a combination, there's green. Put a little red in there. See that? So you get a nice little combination. Combination of colors. So if you like that, that. Oh, again, <laughs> I forgot. Number two allows you to control the second and the third light. So I'm still on this one. So what I'm going to do is the third one. There we go. Third one is controlled by the number four button. See that? So what you do is, you don't like that original color, then you can turn that, and that turns blue. Or if you don't like blue, you can turn that down, call it green. You don't like that? Red. Or, put a little bit of green in there, mix and match, put a little blue in there if you want. The different intensities will cause a little bit of different color variants. So let's see, it, ultimately the lesson here is, is these work in a certain sequence. So if you're satisfied with that, then you go to number three. Number three controls the fourth one. And that would be number one. See right there? Number one. See that? Yeah, let me get that brighter down. Yeah. So if you don't like the original color of red, then turn that down, go to green, make that green if you want. Or make it put a little blue in there. And turn that one and make it blue. So, you like that setup? If you like that, and click that, push that real quick, one time, let go, and it blinked. See, now you're, it automatically advances up to the next scene for you to set up and like i said go all the way up to 24. um hey and if you like that if you like what you got there that's it so then get out a program and see now you got chase number four and now there it is See that? They're, they're, they're not that much. That's why I like to change the, the intensity of different lights. So at least you get an idea that you're actually seeing a chase. But it, they are changing colors. See here? See here? Watch the number go up right here. Those are the scenes that you just built right there one two three and because you've only built three it'll just start back over one one two three one two three all the way up to 24 if, if that's what you uh built up but anyway folks I hope this made some kind of sense. I mean, it took me forever to figure this one out myself. 
the instructions uh, basically got me going, but uh, like I said, these are just quirky. That's all there is to it. So this, like I said, this is your first first light you'll work with on here to uh, to uh, make your what you want. That'd be your second one, and that'll be your third one. So the first one, like I said, you adjust the first one, and then you got these three buttons. Adjust the different color variations. And like I said, you want probably some different intensity. So otherwise, you know, those are changing colors, but you can't, there's not that much variation. So you got to get a little creative. But anyway, this guy you're going, this is a 20 minute video. Sorry about the length of it. But anyway, hopefully it'll get you going.